So last video, I promised to rebuild the battery, but it's been six months, so I'm just gonna show you the rest of the footage from that summer of me actually finishing the scooter, so enjoy. Okay, so first things first, let's disassemble this battery. The next hour consisted of using needle nose pliers to separate each battery. So that is all 26. Unfortunately, I accidentally blew two of them uh, when I was trying to pry off the solders. Instead of trying to pry off the solder, I decided to heat up the solder and then use the plunger to remove it. I just finished cleaning up these batteries and I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so taking a bit of a break from the battery. This is the old chassis and I'm looking to salvage some of these uh, thin sheets of metal which will be used to make mounts for the motor controller. So uh, I just need to cut these and weld them onto the new chassis and then drill some holes. Here is the finished motor mount. Here's the model of the new battery enclosure that I made in Fusion 360. I plan on making this out of half inch thick plywood, and it features 13 slots for four batteries in parallel. Each slot is spread out to facilitate better airflow. I planned on using the nickel strip to spot weld each parallel group together, and then use eight gauge wire to hook every parallel group up to one another. This way it'd be easier to modify each parallel group individually and swapping out a parallel group would be easy as unscrewing a couple of screws and just removing it. All right, so here is the battery pack. So what I think I'm gonna do real quick is hot glue this in place and then drill pilot holes and then fasten this up. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good time to start spot welding up the battery pack. So the spot welding is finished. I cut my wire into multiple segments and crimped ring terminals to either side. I also crimped some lower gauge ring terminals to the BMS leads. I used number eight screws to fasten the ring terminals to the nickel strips and into the plank of wood behind it. After I had fastened all the batteries correctly, I decided to test it out. Unfortunately, due to not balancing the batteries beforehand, I ran into some charging issues. While some batteries were at nominal voltage, some were completely dead. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut the new batteries in half and just have this as a 13S 2P configuration just to see if the battery works. After cutting and spreading out some of the parallel groups so that each parallel group had the same voltage, it was testing time. After we had our fun, I quickly got back to work since I had limited time to get this scooter done before I went off to college. Mounting the kickstand was easy, all I had to do was cut out a little bit of extra metal and weld it on, drill the hole, and then remove the kickstand from the bike that we had sacrificed for this scooter and mount it onto the new scooter. I also cut off the back brake mounts from the old bike and mounted them onto the scooter as well. I quickly cut out a platform to stand on out of the same wood that I used for the battery. After redoing some welds and buffing the entire chassis out, it was time for a paint job. I'm very happy with the results. The performance is great. I didn't get to paint it the colors I wanted to because of the time crunch, but I like the black. The adventures with the electric scooter are far from over, but 
for now, all I have are some clips of us riding, so enjoy. On my way to the GDC. This is a demo reel? Yeah, this is a demo reel. This is for Kale's next video. Oh, yeah. Riding the scooter on campus. Nobody wants to see that. 